morning sir yeah good morning uh, your name mahanj reddy yeah, okay so can i go with anji okay yeah, okay fine yeah anji can i have your resume yes sir yeah ah uh, okay fine anji so before going to the questions so quickly introduce yourself thank you for giving from this opportunity to introduce myself okay. myself i am nagan reddy from chandrapalam okay currently staying in hyderabad okay i have graduated in bachelor degree in year 22 okay. 2022 with aggregate 85% okay i am being a nuclear family okay my technical skills coming to my technical skills are python uh, html and css my strengths are positive thinking and self motivated kind of the personality yeah okay so that's an f okay so actually the interview was going both css and python okay is it okay for you no problem yeah okay fine so okay uh, like what are the advantages of css advantages are advantages of css better better website speed fast uh, easier to maintain time saving consistent design confusion due to many css levels okay so we can make any color search okay fine and is there any limitations for css yes sir okay so what are the limitations lack of layout controls okay better compatibility okay better compatibility able to do com able to to create defy dynamic effects able to to create com complex animations performance simple intact okay so these are the uh, limitations okay so coming to that in css we have a box model yes sir okay so what is the box model in css the box the term box model is used when talking about design and layout okay the css box model is essentially a box that wraps around the every html okay mm, so can you give the css property yes okay height okay. height width margin padding border and content itself yeah uh, okay fine so you know that external style sheets yes sir. Okay, so can you give some advantages of that uh, external style sheets? External style sheets advantages of separation and content of presentation. Okay. Easier to maintain and uh, update. Okay. Faster loading times. Okay. Accessibility, collaboration, ability to use ability to use style sheets to many websites. yeah uh, that's enough fine so like uh, in css we have a like css 2 and css 3 yes sir so what you understand like what you observed the major difference between the two, css 2 and css 3 see in css 2 there is no background background compatibility with css 2 okay there is background compatibility with css 3 okay with css 3 doesn't support uh, box border box property mm. in css3 the support border box property in css3 the concept of simple font set simple selector with clear present in css3 the selector are called as a sequence of simple selector dot com okay in css3 the only web shop web shape font there can be used with css3 the shape fonts are are used in google fonts and typecast yeah okay okay so that's enough uh, fine so like uh, what is rwd rwd stands for web, web responsive web design okay. it approach on web design and development that aims to websites websites that uh, that are adapt and respond respond to uh, development things are is and devices okay so can you give any example for rwd rwd color okay color typecast mm-hmm. 
break animations yeah okay fine so can i go with the python okay so what are the difference you observe in your practice sessions between that matrix and arrays 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 is a homogeneous data structure matrices is also homogeneous data structure okay arrays uh, that contain only uh, one dimensional array mm -hmm. matrices is uh, contains two dimensional array yes arrays is a superset of matrices matrices are a subset that special case of array with uh, where uh, dimensional one is linearly it will access the data second one is it will access the like table format yes so what are the keywords available in python true false none and is as accept assign a white break class continue delete def elif else global if in import mm, yeah, yeah fine so you said that import where we are using this import when we are using the uh, package yeah? package so are you good at uh, like writing the some logical programs in python yes sir okay so i have one qu like uh, i need one uh, answer of the program so the like my query is so you need to write the program to print even numbers in array okay fine you can go through Yes. Yeah okay. So here you mentioned that num percentile of two. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Now it's perfect. Okay. So you are saying that if number was divided with two, if the remainder is zero, then that number is coming under even. Even. Okay. Fine. yeah uh, fine anji so like uh, i i think i done my side you have any queries to ask nothing okay so finally one thing so already we done lot of interviews yes. so why we need to hire particularly anji like uh, why i need to hire you if you hire me i have relevant skills to to skills and knowledge okay like uh, whatever we are taken interviews that person also said same answer like they are also having skills relevant skills they have to improve my skills and knowledge okay, so i like you are feeling this is a good platform you to improve your skills yes. yeah uh, okay fine anji you can yeah